it is the reissue of the Range Rover 92 short wheelbase kit from Ashima. And it's today's What's in the Box. Hey everyone, and welcome into today's What's in the Box. And it is the Range Rover 92, 92 Range Rover SWB kit from Ashima. Uh, finally getting a reissue. Uh, the last time this variation was reissued, the stock version was, was reissued was in 19, I believe it was 97. It got a reboxing. Initially released in 1993, and then in 98, it got its first uh, reissue as with the off road parts. It was uh, the Urban series. And then I actually just built it last year. And then in 2000, it got a couple more reissues. The first one was the uh, ETV series. And then the next one was the package SRV variation. So the stock version has not seen a reissue since 1997, a long time. So with that, let's check it out. And getting started with the body. And getting things started off is the frame and front and rear axle parts tree. And you can see the lower part of the engine block is molded into the frame. Obviously, this is a curbside kit. And the next parts tree which will have a little bit of everything on it the front grille suspension parts mostly suspension parts suspension related parts and the next parts tree will be Interior parts tree with a rear seat back and a cargo cover piece. And moving on to the next interior parts tree, which will have basically all the interior, more of the majority of the main interior parts. Moving on to the next set of parts trees. More suspension parts on this one. And another parts tree. This one has a dash and bumpers and what have you. Here are the front and rear bumpers. Now interestingly, I believe it was in the original issues of this kit, the bumpers were chrome plated because there's our the mirror faces as well. Looks like Ashima decided not to go that route and not chrome plate the bumpers, which the bumpers are kind of chrome plated. Now take a look at the wheels are the stock kind, which would hope so because this is a stock version. Now take a look at the tires and other assortment of in the tire bag. These are uh, mud doulers, Bridgestone mud doulers. They do actually have 
writing on the side. Oh, they do have sidewall detail. And I'll take a look at the clear parts tree. One of the tail lights has decided to free itself from the tree. And now finally we'll take a look at the decal and this chrome reflective adhesive. And now take a look at the decal sheet. So that is going to about do it for this look at the 1992 Range Rover Classic SWB LH36D kit from Hashima. And I have to say it's nice that they finally got around to getting this a reissue. Although I'm sure the sellers on eBay aren't quite as happy since they've had to basically lower their prices if they wanted to sell their original issued versions. They've been going for right around $100, some more, some little less over the last five or six years that I've been watching them. So it's nice to be able to get one of these stock versions at a reasonable price and with a set of fresh decals. And of course, if you want to get yourself some Range Rover color match paint, scale finishes is the place to go. You got big stuff. So for me, from for the first one I built, the off-road version, I need to come up with a second color to paint this one. So on that note, thanks for watching.